Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chemical Engineering channel and we are shifting our topic from heat exchangers or heat transfer operations to mass balance and energy balance subsequently. So if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. So in the contents of today's lecture, we will be first discussing the basics of mass balance and then we will be solving some numericals related to mass balance. So if we talk about the basic concepts, the total balance is that the mass in should be equal to mass out and for the component balance, we can say that the component fraction multiplied by the mass in, it could be number of streams, it could be 1, 2, 3, 4 streams accordingly if we are talking about solids or so solid in stream number 1, stream number 2, stream number 3, 4 or if one of the streams does not have, for example, if there are 4 streams labeling from S1 to S4 and if 3 of them have so accordingly the fourth one if we say s4 it will be accordingly zero for that component and accordingly component fraction multiplied by mass out for the system so the basic purpose of this whole activity is present the crunch data in front of my valuable viewers and accordingly instead of reading too many theories or reading simple concepts we can scale up one level and then we will be solving accordingly so based on these two balances we will be solving some numericals today in our activity. So in numerical number one, the statement is that how much dry sugar must be added in 100 kg of aqueous sugar solution in order to increase its concentration from 20 to 50 percent. So inlet concentration is 20 percent, outlet concentration is 50 percent, the aqueous sugar solution mass flow rate or mass is 100 kg and we have to add the dry sugar. So we are taking the assumption that dry sugar is composed of 100% sugar. There is no impurity in it. So if we talk about our process flow diagram, this is the S1, which is the aqueous solution. It is 100 kg, 20% concentration. This S2, which is the dry sugar is added, which is 100% sugar. And this S3 is currently unknown and accordingly S2 is also unknown. But we know the concentrations that it is 50% concentrated, it is 100% concentrated and this feed is fully specified. So one of the feeds is specified completely while the outlet flow rate we are not known about it and accordingly one of the inlet flow rates. The total and component balances will be applied if we talk about the overall mass balance it will definitely be feed which is 100 kg plus S2 which is the dry sugar and that is equal to S3 which is the final outlet. If we talk about the soluble solid mass balance, then 0.2 which is 20% in the feed number 1 which is 100 plus 1 multiplied by S2 obviously this is 100% so it will be 1 multiplied by S2 is equal to 0.5 50% multiplied by S3 and we get this equation as 20 plus S2 is equal to 0.5 multiplied by S3. So if we subtract these two number 1 and number 2 we get the answer of S3 and when we substitute that answer in to this equation we get the answer of s2 so what we are get the answers s2 is equal to 60 kg and accordingly once you add 60 plus 100 that will give you an answer of 160 kg so you can either calculate first s2 and then you can compute s3 or you can compute s3 and then you can compute s2 obviously your answers will remain the same therefore 60 kg of dry sugar per 100 kg of aqueous sugar solution needs to be added to increase its concentration from 20% to 50%. That's the overall representation of mass balance on a system. And this is a very, very simple representation. Now let's move on to the next numerical. Fresh orange juice with 20% soluble solid content is concentrated to 60% in a multiple effect evaporator. So initial concentration is 12% and increased to 60%. To improve the quality of final product, the concentrated juice is mixed with an amount of fresh juice so that the concentration of the mixture is 42%. So initially 12% then increased to 60% and then fresh juice is added it came back to 42%. So we have to calculate the three parameters. Number one is how much water per hour must be evaporated in the multiple effect evaporator. Obviously once evaporation takes place then the concentration will be increased. So we have to calculate that. Number two how much fresh juice per hour must be added back to reduce the concentration from 60% to 42% and how much final product will be produced if the inlet feed flow rate is 10,000 kg per hour fresh juice. 
so if we talk about fresh juice it is 10000 kg per hour first water is evaporated it goes to 60% then fresh juice is added and accordingly concentration is reduced to 42% so assume steady state in the system so if we talk about this diagram this is 10000 kg per hour of the feed is entered which is 12% concentrated evaporation take place water is evaporated concentration increased to 60% obviously the flow rate will be decreased in this x then this 60% is mixed with this f which is 12% concentrated to reduce the concentration to 42% so we have to calculate the value of w the value of x the value of f the value of pi but in all these cases or if we have divided this system into two blocks number 1 and number 2 so in all the cases we know the value of soluble solids concentration which is 12% in this case 60% 12% 42% and obviously there will be no concentration in case of w so let's do the component balance and the total balance for envelope number 1 and then for envelope number 2 but you have to remember this convention once we are doing this so overall mass balance for the first one is that 10000 which is the initial feed is equal to w which is water evaporated plus 60% concentrated solution and accordingly 0.12 multiplied by 10,000 is equal to 0.6 multiplied by x. This is the component balance because W does not contain any soluble solids. So accordingly x can be calculated from this equation and then once you substitute the value of x over here in equation number 1 you get the answer of W. So x is equal to 2000 kg per hour and W is equal to 8000 kg per hour. It means that out of 10,000 kg per hour feed 8000 kg per hour or 80% of it is evaporated while 20% of it is going to the next system as you can see here this one is 2000 kg per hour this one is 8000 kg per hour now this 2000 kg per hour is mixed with this f and we have to calculate the value of y so going to the second envelope and applying overall mass balance that is equal to x plus f is equal to y we know the value of this x which is 2000 kg per hour soluble solid balance 0 0.6 60 percent multiplied by x plus 12 percent multiplied by f that is equal to 42 percent multiplied by y and accordingly once we simultaneously solve these we get f is equal to 1200 kg per hour and 1200 plus this x which was 2000 so it should be 3200 kg per hour and y is equal to 3200 kg per hour and that can be calculated by simple addition of these two x and f or by simultaneously solving these two equations in the first numerical we have seen a single system in the second numerical we have seen that two systems and accordingly by simply applying the concepts of overall mass balance and component mass balance we have solved the flow rates and its summary is that 8000 kg per hour of water will be evaporated because we have to calculate the three values 1200 kg per hour of fresh juice will be added back and 3200 kg per hour of concentrated orange juice with 42 percent soluble solids will be produced so that is the overall representation that this is 10000 here 8000 2000 1200 and accordingly 3200 we have been able to find that now moving to to the numerical number 3 1000 kg per hour of a fruit juice with 10 percent solids is freeze concentrated to 40 percent solids so the concentration is increased from 10 percent to 40 percent of the feed which is 1000 kg per hour the dilute juice is fed to a freezer where the ice crystals are formed and then the slush is separated in a centrifugal separator into ice crystals and concentrated juice initially freeze concentration then fed to the freezer ice crystals formation then separation in a centrifugal separator so there is a freezing system and then there is a separation system an amount of 500 kg per hour of liquid is recycled from the separator to the freezer so there is recycling in this process as well so we are further complexing the overall situation so calculate the amount of ice that is removed in the separator and the amount of concentrated juice produced assume steady state so if we look at this diagram that this 1000 kg per hour of the feed is fed to this freezing system with a concentration of 10 percent from this freezing system it goes to the separation system where ice is produced and the concentrated juice is produced and this one is obviously recycled but if we talk about the overall input and output of the system this is the input of the system and this i and j are the output of the system this recycle is involved in the process but it does not represent any input and it does not represent any output so once we are applying the mass balance we are considering total mass in and total mass out but obviously recycles cannot be included in that once we are applying the mass balance 
the total end component mass balance overall mass balance can be written as feed which is 1000 is equal to i which is ice plus j is equal to juice and soluble solids mass balance since ice does not contain any solid so 0.1 which is 10 percent of the feed 1000 40 percent multiplied by the j and accordingly j is computed from this equation which is 250 kg per hour and i is equal to 750 kg per hour so we can say that out of this 1000 kg per hour which is 10 percent concentrated 250 kg per hour of juice is produced which is 40 percent concentrated and remaining ice which is 750 kg per hour is evaporated in the system and last thing point to remember that notice that the recycle stream does not affect the result only the streams that cut the envelope take part in the mass balance as i have told you that the total mass in and total mass out that are involved once we are doing the mass balance so that's it from this lecture thank you so much please do watch like share the video and subscribe to the channel also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel till then it's goodbye stay tuned for more videos